Hey guys, let's write a simple program to identify that given linked list is a palindrome or not. So what is palindrome? Let's say that you have given a string. When you reverse it and compare with the original string, if both are same, that's called palindrome. It's going to be same in linked list also. The concept is same. If you reverse the linked list and compare with the original, if both are same in value, then it's a palindrome. Even one single character mismatch is not a palindrome. So in this approach, we'll use stack. Um, how we are going to do, let's, uh, let me explain. So now let's say that we have uh, a five node palindrome. I mean five node, uh, five node linked list, 10, 8, 6, 8, 10. Now 10 is head node, 10 dot next pointing to 8, 8 dot next pointing to 6, 6 dot next pointing to 8, 8 dot next pointing to 10. And this is the last node. It's not pointing to any further nodes. <coughs> now, to check whether it's a palindrome or not, we need to reverse the linked list. That means we need to compare 10 with the first node, 8 with the second node, and 6 with 6. So how can we do it? At any given point of time with linked list, we know only the respective node and its next node. So what we can do is we will take a stack. First, we will copy entire linked list to the stack. That means we'll iterate through each node and copy it. So 10, 8, 6, 8, and finally, so now what we do, we again iterate through linked list from head node. Every iteration, we will pop out one element from the stack. That means on linked list, I'm on first node, head node 10. Now from stack, I'll pop out one element that is 10. Both are same. Now in the second iteration, I go to 8. When I pop out, I'll get 8 from the stack. So similarly, the third node on linked list is 6. The stack pops will give 6. Both are same. So it continues until we reach the last node and stack last node. So if both, I mean all the elements are matching, then we'll say that the linked list is palindrome. Let's write a sample code. Let's create a class. We'll create an inner class, which is a static. So it's a node, it has the data which is integer and there is a node reference which is to keep next element we'll have a constructor for this so it takes integer value and we'll assign that to a data value now create a method to identify whether a given linked list is palindrome or not so it's going to be static and it's going to return boolean value is all in Rome. Now it's going to take input as a node. Generally, it's going to be a head node. We will have head node. <coughs> I mean, we'll copy head node to a temporary variable, variable. Node temp node equal to head. The reason why we are copying to temp node is we need to traverse twice. What happens in the first traversal, we point head, I mean, during the traversal, we'll reach to the last node. Since uh, here it's um, a value by reference, 
the head node finally points to the last node so next iteration again we need to point back to head node that's going to be a problem so that's the reason we copy to temp node we are going to use temp node to copy to stack so now let's define declare a stack which is going to be an integer stack let's copy so i'll use while loop to copy data while temp node not equal to null the exit condition is when the node became null exit out of this loop so copy to stack stack dot push temp node dot data and every iteration temp node points to next node dot next so we, we copy to stack so now let's start comparing each node or element from stack and linked list again the condition i mean again we use uh, a while loop and the exit condition is again it's going to be same here i'm using direct um, the reference i mean method input parameter reference not equal to null so the condition is in the in the current iteration the node value and the stack popped value must match in case if it doesn't match then it's not a palindrome so if head dot data not equal to stack dot pop then it's not a palindrome so we can directly say return boolean false in any other case it's going to be palindrome so now just make sure head is pointing to next element so we are only checking we are comparing in case if it is not matching we are returning false if everything is success finally by default it should return true now let's write a simple main class to test our code create data create nodes node n1 equal to new node we'll create a uh, five nodes here and it's n1 n2 n3 n4 n5 let me modify data also 28 28 15 and let's make um, next node next references to n1 is ahead here n1 dot next equal to n2 n2 dot next equal to n3 similarly n3 dot next equal to n4 n4 dot next equal to n5 so our linked list is ready let's print it and pass head value so now let's store uh, the results Now print the result system dot out dot printl and is it palindrome result. Now let's run this and see the result.
now it says it's palindrome we will change one of the value to 29 and we'll run this again it says it's not palindrome it's false thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel